Some people have been, um, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad. Some people have been doing it like right about two weeks ago, they got their stuff back. And then yeah. I hear some people still have stuff from this, like, uh, you have to go like a mile. But everything will be okay. So you have to help. So I'll say, you know what, I ain't staying around. You're going to do it. 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 They hear the name. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, the I can I'm curious what's up with that cop with the hat. Because I don't see cops wear hats. Yeah. Of course, we got the Oakland Police Department out here with their cameras taking pictures, so we'll take some pictures of them too. So you know who the violent cops out of the out of the Oakland Police Department, and who isn't violent? It's generally they're all pretty much violent. All right, Bronx. Anybody out there connected to the internet right now? Look it up. See where the OTUS is. So this seems to be a little protest zone they've got fenced off. Make sure that we don't get close to Obama. Got a new viewer here. Uh, a government says anyone killed by a drone must have been a terrorist. That's how this is about. That's how they constitute. That's how they exist and assassinate. If you were killed by a drone, I don't know. Hold behind you there, bro. Thank you. They say that about two months old babies. And they say that about two year old grandfathers. And they say that about people killed at wedding parties. They like to buy wedding parties. Oh, it's up. Yeah. Anywhere in the large group of people, you get more privacy. I'm kind of disappointed that there's not more people down here. One of the times people get together, the whole community is yeah. far away. So these days, you go to a wedding, you may or will not come home. And of course, we're not going to get anywhere near, right? Anywhere near anything, right? We were able to get a lot closer in San Francisco. Look at the video, collateral murder. It's done. This is Freeman Sullivan here. As uh, glad you're watching. I see a lot of occupiers that are here. Another video tape the internet. A U.S. college dropping these bombs. Quickly, I buy this American pie. And we pull the chickens on top of the who was on the ground. It's proven that I buy this American pie, American fighter pilot. He's laughing and he's bombing. This is the sickness of the world, and it's coming out of the 
United States and in from Kyle. And we're all supposed to be good, responsible citizens of the Empire. And we got some RCPers, of course. And that's the worst possible thing you could do in the year 2012. It's a good, responsible citizen of Empire. So I'm wondering if this is the closest we're going to get. I don't want to really get into it right now, but I didn't make that video you're accusing me of making. He's a hero. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You know what, Tony? He doesn't know who Bradley Manning is. You need to talk to them and encourage them to follow the story and raise their voice in public support of a courageous whistleblower. Yeah, that's right. 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 And to give the truth to people so that all of us can walk in. We'll get around. We'll find somebody to talk to here in a minute. That was Rob speaking to me. I'm sorry, folks, but he's pretty much persona non grata in my world. And I don't really have much to say to him. It's not that I'm angry, but I felt that uh, personally that I was abused by him and his little blatant power play. And, and quite frankly, I got better shit to do. And I'd rather be here live streaming with you guys. So I'm mellowing out. We have a lot of live streamers out here today, so if uh, you're not uh, watching me and I happen to go down, there's that Bella Echo, that's B-E-L-L-A-E-C-K-O, I believe, and she's here, and there's James One Liberty at, uh, that you can follow on Twitter, and he also is doing a live stream, and Courtney Occupy is doing another live stream. There's a lot of media. I think we're over media out here, and there's really not much going on other than a bunch of people hanging out. So if you didn't come down here, I can honestly say that if, you, if you're at home and you're thinking about coming down here, I would say probably don't waste your time. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere near Obama. He's too blocked. And uh, so that's that. But I'll stay here as long as possible and to try to give you an actual picture. There's actually less people here now than there was uh, when the uh, medical cannabis protest was going on. I guess there's a crowd of maybe 100 people, but that's pretty much it. stood up here. Oh, there's a fire truck. He always comes in behind the fire truck. Yeah, he's right there. Alright, we think Obama's coming. Down the street here. There's something going on. We got the fire department coming through. Which, considering all these people here, it's not a very good idea.
So we have a lot of people that are down here. And, well, not a lot exactly, about 100 people, maybe 150 at the most. Kind of disappointed with the crowd, but but then again, considering that you're not going to get close to the president or anywhere near to where he can even see you, such as democracy that exists in this country, that we're not allowed to confront our political leaders, that they're so scared of us that they have to keep us the streets blocked off and everything blocks away because you know they must be that unpopular. So, let me know how the stream looks. Uh, you can log on to the social stream and you can chat with me. I can actually get the chat on the computer. And you can log on with your Facebook ID or your Twitter ID and log in and chat with me and ask me some questions. If you have something that you want to know about what's going on or anything else that I haven't mentioned in the commentary, uh, feel, free to, feel free to do so. Nobody's locked on the chat yet. Woohoo. Woohoo. Ah, oh, why not? I gotta, well. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to run over Peppy. Oh, my back hurts so bad. Oh, uh, yeah, well, have a seat. Ran into one of my nemesis a little bit earlier. Somebody in the Occupy movement who like who threatened me and he was gonna hack all my stuff and blah blah blah. And that guy hasn't his knowledge of computers is like I laugh, right? Well they're coming up to me all I miss you. We all miss you down there. Yeah, I bet y'all fucking Yeah, we're on live stream right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get into ragging on people. I want to, the person who I really want to rag on is, he's two blocks away, and we're not going to get anywhere close to him. Ask him why, uh, why he can't live up to his campaign promises, right? Yeah, we got a lot of, at least a lot of Occupy people showed up. More than used, more than before, at least. Anyway, Obama had the nerve to come down in the middle of Amsterdam, uh, just about. After he's gotten done uh, sicking his federal troops, well, not the troops, but who, his... Who wants to march? Nah, forget it. Hey. Hey. Who wants to march? No. No. We're, we're back here. Uh, let the RCP... Like, <laughs> now, you guys can go. We're going to stay here. Yeah, let's go to Right, yeah, you know, it's RCP, you guys can go. We're not following you. <laughs> I'm not going to follow the RCP anywhere. I've seen them lead people. Years ago, I've seen them lead people into police things. And we've got the crap beat out of them by the, by the police. That's what the RCP does. Oh, let me find a letter here. Well, who actually got some viewers? thing about being a live streamer is is that we don't get piss tested so we can smoke all the marijuana. Piss test? What's that? <laughs> I just got a phone call. Somebody said, hey, you put out a resume. Do you want to do an interview? And I said, well, I got one tomorrow, but keep me on the books. 
By the way, what did it start out at? That was $14 an hour, which is, eh, right? And then, um, I said, by the way, do you, uh, <laughs> do you hire people that have felonies? <laughs> they, you know, there's a company policy against that. She said yes. I said, well, thanks for your time. You know, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Good. I don't have time for that. You know? Yeah, we wants to go into a place and then find out that you can't apply because, you know, I'm clean. I actually have a security clearance. <laughs> so. Smoking, smoking, smoking. Ride. <coughs> they got some people sitting down here doing a sit protest in the middle of the street. <laughs> I'll go to the RCB one. <laughs> Yay. Uh, excuse me. So, for those of you that have been checking in and out all day, they roll up all their sides at least. Checking in and out. I've been, uh, there's still material there. Pretty well. It looks like I probably got about an hour or so. You know, these are deep. I got So, I might shut it off here for a few minutes. And I came down here because I thought. There's still material over there, that little jerk. He ran away from me in the street one day, right? Because I was mad about something he had said about one of the medical cannabis dispensaries, which is a lie. You know, and he was broadcasting it on the news. And he knew that I was after him. And, uh, I mean, he's not a terrible guy. But I just didn't want him talking shit about medical marijuana patients, right? <laughs> Die. And what I'm here to say is that these yeah, are the best. I thought you guys thought you'd be like, I've seen one of those before. Oh, that's fine. That's not bad. I've never sure. seen one this close in person. You see that one? Yeah, I keep going. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay. Okay. No, I haven't done it. Oh, okay. My cell phone fell out of my holster. I was hoping to, to, to call my phone and see if somebody has it. I'm on live stream right now. Pardon? I'm live streaming right now. Okay. <laughs> and that's your only phone. Yeah. Melody. Melody. This one is $18.99. That's not bad. I thought it would be about $32.99 or something like that. No. Yeah, they're okay. I'd rather have a bicycle. We're going to be doing an eviction of defense on Thursday, if you're interested. Um, it's at 575 Market at 1 o'clock. I'm going to the, uh, the SRO collaborative meeting there, and I'm going to leave the collaborative at 1 o'clock, or uh, at 12 o'clock, to go down there. No, it's going to be at the PNC bank. It's a PNC is a bank. Excuse me. It's a bank, and they make a they uh, 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 they have a lot of mortgages that they do, right? Uh, this woman named uh, Yid from an apartment or from a house, yeah, a home, and it's being put on by Ace. The home? I'm not sure of the address, but it's in the city of San Francisco, and it's an illegal it's an illegal foreclosure. And Ace decided to take it and occupy. I need to find somebody with a phone before my phone gets on the top of mine. So you'll forget it. All right. I occupied it. I wish I could help him out. That's coming the first part of the year. Yeah, not much to see here, right? 
a bunch of people standing around. Oh. He's supposed to be here at like 7.30. 7.30? Yeah. Yeah, it's 6.40 or something. Do you have a smart um, I'm, I'm actually live streaming right now, I'm sorry. I've got his car. Yeah, I just can't just keep on the live stream here. And unfortunately, uh, I uh, can't afford to have two phones. <laughs> it would be that. It would be nice, but well, that's kind of it's not so much having a you know what I like about the expense of it. It's the pain in the ass. That means I gotta have two numbers I gotta answer, right? Actually, I had a friend of mine, my a friend of mine, see the Sears building right here? Well, he actually lives in that building. I bet you. Oh. I mean, he lives in that building. I bet you I could go down the street here and ring his doorbell and everything. Right oh. No, Tom the Nurse. Hey, he lives right in the Sears building right here. <laughs> I might give him a call. <laughs> I know. Oh, let's go over to my house. Yeah, right. You fucking take off. He doesn't have any stamina. No, I don't care. Yeah, well, he disappoints me on that stuff regularly, so what can I tell you? You know? Yeah, I should go down and uh, ring my friend's doorbell. I mean, he's just right down the street here. He actually owes me a bag of pot, you know, and some money. Huh. Tell the nurse if you're watching my live stream. I'm just about a block away from your house. Sitting out here in the 19th and Telegraph. Waiting for something to happen, which we don't know what's going to happen. How's it going? Yeah, yeah. I've seen tons of my Facebook friends, which is nice. I always like seeing the people that I that I social and network with in person. I mean, that's what it's all about with social networking. Well, just because you're doing stuff on the internet doesn't preclude you from meeting them in person either, right? Oh, my one viewer. What you doing, man? What's in the bag, lady? A bird and a dog. <laughs> March was pretty good. That was about the liveliest thing that went on today. <laughs> yeah, the crowd's about equally divided between occupiers and medical cannabis people. 
few smattering of the of the general public, but some RC peers, but they took off. All these presidential things, there's a lot of standing around. And then there's like some brief excitement when he comes or goes. And then everybody stands around until he leaves. And then there's a bit of excitement. But I don't know why with the American public, I don't know why there's not barricades that are burning in the middle of the street right now. But Americans are, are pretty docile. I understand over in Spain, uh, Spain tonight, there have been massive protests against the government. Uh, the government probably is going to topple any day now. The stock market dropped, the Spanish stock market dropped 250 points today. And uh, I haven't had a chance to look at the New York Stock Exchange, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that dropped at least 100 points today as well. Because Spain has billions and billions of dollars of debt. And uh, that's why we're down here and that's why we occupy. It's because we don't want to be debt slaves. I'm personally lucky. I'm, I don't know any money to anybody. I think I might owe fifty dollars to somebody, but that's it. Ah, nice vehicle coming down the street here. Oh, we should let this one yeah, he's parking. That looks like a model. That looks like a Model A. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can let him. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, by the way, if uh, you're watching uh, this Thursday, I'm going to be at the PNC Bank at 575 Market Street. Uh, we're doing an eviction defense for the Inn family, who uh, I believe live out in Ocean Avenue. I'm not real sure of their address, but uh, the, the, uh, the event is being sponsored by Ace and Occupy Burnell. And this family has a, it's an illegal foreclosure that's been done by PNC Bank, which is an Asian-based bank, but they're, they, have, uh, they have a pretty uh, good size office here in San Francisco, or uh, in the Bay Area and in San Francisco. So we'll be at 575 Market on Thursday at 1 p.m. So you can look for me then. That'll be on my Occupy San Francisco channel. So look for it then. Oh, that protest should definitely be a lot more focused than this one. But I'm glad I came over here to the anti-Obama, unwelcome Obama. If you're looking for a hashtag to follow, uh, it's, it's hashtag unwelcome Obama. And that that's uh, most of the latest tweets that are going on about this event. And I know of a few people that are that are live tweeting right now. I've been looking at them, as a matter of fact. So we were very well networked in, at this event, at least. Hope you're not too bored. So pretty much I'm getting bored. <laughs>
Yeah, that's a nice little dog bag. Yeah, it's been a little bit of an Occupy reunion today. I've actually ran into lots of people, lots of activists that I've worked with in the past. And that's been a real pleasurable experience. Uh, at least we were able to network here. I guess I guess the president does bring out good, some of the good in people, eh? There's also this other article This is the one about Obama. We're going to take a little short break here. I want to get a cigarette lit. Hold on. Well, this doesn't look very focused, does it? All right, I'm going to cut out the stream for just a second so we can save it. But I'll be, uh, hold on a second.